Good morning, guys. It's really not morning, it's afternoon. Oh my god, what is going on? I just became all blurry. Okay, there we go. Is that better? Nope. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Got a lot of work to catch up to. All the paperwork from the weekend and sort out new stuff that's coming. Oh my fucking god, what is going on? Oh, I know why this is. Hang on, guys. I need to clean your face. Clean your face. How's that? Is that better? No, that made it worse. Better? Nope. Worse. Anyway, let's start the day. We're having breakfast. Let's go. Oh, breakfast is already served. One egg. That looks perfectly cooked. Mushrooms, bacon, toast. Don't know what that is. Butter, toast, more toast, more eggs. That's mine for sure. Thanks, babe. Hi, Biggs. Hi. Mm. As I told you guys, uh, today is nothing but working day, as in like working paperwork and stuff like that. I'm very unorganized, so I had to go get myself these. I bought two of these from Target. Everything at Target stationery wise was 25% off, which is freaking awesome. I got that, and I got a pack of highlighters because I'm gonna show you guys quickly what highlighters I'm using at the moment, and I don't want to wreck them. Yeah, so I'm using <laughs> Bape highlighters right now. These are official Bic Bape highlighters. I don't want to ruin them, and for some odd reason, I'm running really low on black pens, so I had to buy a whole heap of black pens. Paper, mate, paper mate pens are the best because of the gel point, and yeah, my writing's really beautiful. I'm not even gonna lie. All day today, sitting here doing nothing but end of days, working out our figures, how much we're making, if it's a profitable ride. Now, okay, I'm gonna show you guys. This is clickbait. This is gonna be the clickbait right here. This supreme. Peach box logo jumper Like look carefully all you supreme guys Tell me I Know this is fake, but this is a really good fake someone actually brought this in and yeah I, I'm pretty sure I told you this, this story on previous vlog uh, They tried to cop or drop it and then everyone called it out to being fake. He brought it into the store. I, it was very sketchy, like a very sketchy dude. Brought it into the store. Uh, he's from Sydney, sent it to his mate in Brisbane. The guy in Brisbane brought it into the store, had no idea anything about it, gave it to us, it didn't give us a contact number, didn't give us, gave us an email address to speak to the guy. But it's fake. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm sort of stuck with it. I have no idea. Good evening everyone. So right now I am about to head into the city. If you can see right here, I've got all this camera gear. So Mids actually bought a whole heap of stuff from Queensland. It was from like Townsville or Sunshine Coast or something. So uh, Joe had to go collect it, bring it back to Brisbane. Then from Brisbane, we had to bring it back to Melbourne. And now I gotta go drop it off to him. So Mids, I hope you enjoy and appreciate all this stuff right here. We're secretly gonna like steal it and just never give it to you. But um, I'm also gonna go meet up with Gabby and Corinne cause we're gonna go watch Beauty and the Beast. I think I've seen in the trailer and I'm low-key a little bit scared even I found the power range is a little bit scary so I hope it's not too bad although I do know it will be a good movie so we're gonna go watch that at Melbourne Central and we'll probably have a little bit of dinner or something beforehand because right now it is only 4 30 and the movie doesn't start till 6 30 but I want to get into the city before traffic starts because this morning my mom took three hours sorry I just spat I don't know if you saw that she took three hours to get to work from our house so uh, I felt really really bad I think she went she ended up going like the long way around even though I told her which way to go but we kind of miscommunicated because it was really early in the morning also she cleaned the house like crazy I can't wait to show you when I get back everything is so organized so mom when you're watching this thank you so much we really appreciate it let's head off into the city now Finally 
got into the city took a lot longer than I thought. There was a bit more traffic and all of that stuff. I think this is the first time I've parked in Melbourne Central, so I'm kind of nervous. I really hope that I remember where I parked because this place looks so confusing. So they pulled out little notes. Yeah. Talking about. <laughs> oh my god, there are so many people. God, look at this movie. I'm totally watching. Look how cute it is. Whenever life got Ethan down, I knew exactly what to do. Ready? I'm ready. Go, Billy! Having dinner by myself right now, and I'm going to show you guys quickly what I'm actually eating. I'm trying to get healthy again because I realized I eat a lot of crab food whilst I'm traveling. So, this is what I'm eating. Rabbit food. Water. And I'm watching the get down. So fucking excited. I gotta catch up. So um I just got back from the movies. We saw Beauty and the Beast and honestly it was really good. However, there is a but. There was so many songs. There was way too many singing and all that in it. Like legit, I'm not even joking. There was honestly a song every five to ten minutes. So I think that like if they had only a few singing parts in there, it would have been a lot better. But other than that, I totally forgot what the movie was about. So I found it really interesting and I did enjoy it watching it. Just, just the singing. I just can't get over how much it would be. I don't think I would like to watch a musical. I've always wanted to see like The Lion King the musical and I wanted to watch the Matilda the musical but I think after seeing Beauty and the Beast I'm not sure if I would enjoy it anymore just because it was way too much like I started sighing and just being like not again because it was insane but um now I'm about to start editing some videos tomorrow I've got to go to work I'm starting a bit earlier so I'm starting I think 10 or 11 and working to a close I'm working on Thursday as well I was meant to work on Saturday but they changed shifts I mean that's a good thing because Weekends, I'm always DJing at night time, so yeah. Hey, Biggs. <laughs> Can I just show you him right now? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. It's so crazy that they know what pillows are. Like, do you guys have dogs? Do you, do your dogs like use a pillow like a human? Just look at this. Look at him. He just sleeps on it because he knows it's comfortable. Even though it's a couch right here and a couch is already soft. But he's got to go that extra mile just to use it. Same as Honey. She's using it as a pillow. She always does this. You're a good girl.